I had a request for doing a fruit fly video. I've never made one because there's already a few on YouTube. But since I'm about to make some, make up a batch, I thought I'd just videotape it. Here's some of my uh, fruit flies. These are wingless fruit flies. I did have flightless, and then I switched all to the wingless. And what I do, I get my my mix from Josh Frogs. The mix from Josh Frogs. It says to use. It says use half a cup of the mix to two thirds cup of hot hot water. So scoop out half a cup of mix and each one of these cups, these are 32 ounce cups and we're going to pour some really hot water in there we're going to use reverse osmosis water, that's what I use for all my frog stuff and all my mixes so let's go to the next step Pour some in. I actually I don't measure it. I just go by look and feel. Get the right consistency. There's different ways to do it. I mix mine up. Some people just pour in the amount of water and call it good, but I don't get it. I have to mix mine. It's a little soupy. So in that case, we're so runny. I know there's some stuck to the side here. Well, that's about right. Figure about mashed potato consistency. All right, now let's go to the next step. Here's a tip. If your wife will let you, or you don't tell her, you can recycle the lids. I use the lids at least twice. Put them in the freezer, and the freezer will kill any mites that were on the lids. So let's go back over here. Back in one of the frog rooms. Next step, I'm gonna add some excelsior to the mix. So we're gonna have a little ball full, and I put it in while the mix is still warm. There's my mint frogs, they're out. I think they're waiting for a meal. So take a little dab, about this size. Stick it in there. Put a lid in it. Now what? Now we wait. You can't add the fruit flies right now because the mix is too hot and actually you'll just kill them. So you are got to wait a couple hours or we'll finish this tomorrow. Alright, so this is the next day and our mixture is cooled off. So now we're gonna prepare these. I have the lids close by, so I put the lids back on quickly so the fruit flies don't get out. And I always pour my fruit flies inside a container like this in case any escape. When you get the mix from Josh Frogs, you always get a little bit of yeast you can use. I don't know if it makes much difference or not. Some people think it makes a big difference. Some people say it doesn't matter. So I'll put a little pinch in each one. And let's find a culture here that has a lot of fruit flies. Here, let's use this one. I do use mite paper down here to help keep the mites down or keep mites from 
keep mites from going from one copter to another. All right, it's a little tricky with one hand. So I'll put a couple in here, push them down, put a lid on. We're gonna do that to this one over here too. I've read trying to get 75 to 100 fruit flies in your start culture. I hit the other container to help keep the fruit flies down. You see they're climbing up the, the sides. Put the lid on. Put the lid back on these guys. Next thing to do is put a date on them. There you go. 624. I set them down my mite paper. I'll stack them too high. And I don't stack them like this, but I, st I uh, stack them like this. I notice when I do like this, the bottom one stays too moist. So this lets it, the bottom ones dry out a little bit. Let's a little more air in there. And that's pretty much it. That's how I do my, that's how I do my fruit flies for all my frogs. I, I try to do two to four new cultures every week. Because I have a lot of frogs to feed. So let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.